The giant rising from a steel cradle on each voyage, this Leviathan can carry enough cargo to sustain a small nation for months' food, fuel, and raw materials, the very essentials of life and industry. Inside the massive dry dock, a steel monster rests, motionless, silent as if a sleeping god lay within. Around it, hundreds of workers move like tiny ants, climbing, welding, and fastening each flash of a welding spark like the breath of a beast stirring to life. Imagine a ship nearly 1,300 feet long, as wide as four football fields, and as tall as a 20-story building. Standing at its base, a human looks no larger than an ant staring up at an enormous wall of steel. Even more staggering, it can carry over 20,000 shipping containers lined end to end. They would stretch from New York to Philadelphia, a ribbon of steel, goods, and raw power that swallows the horizon. This is not just a ship. It is a floating city, a colossal engine capable of shaking the entire global supply chain. Terrifying power, numbers that stunned giant cranes groaned and hissed, lifting slabs of steel weighing tens of tons, fitting them into the hull as if assembling a colossal titan. The massive engines gradually emerged, propellers dozens of meters long waiting for the day they would churn entire oceans. The cost to birth this behemoth exceeded $150 million. Its cargo capacity reaches over 200,000 tons, enough to swallow an entire small city within its belly. On each voyage, it can carry cargo equivalent to a 120-kilometer long freight train, a figure that makes anyone's head spin. This is no longer just a vessel. It is a global economic weapon, where every crate and container has the potential to shift the currents of human commerce. First touch of water, the trial of steel, and see the dry dock gates slowly swung open, metal echoing like war drums. Seawater surged in, slow but relentless, swallowing every meter of concrete floor. Thousands of tents' eyes watched as the giant vessel began to lift itself off the ground, each steel section weighing hundreds of thousands of tons trembling like a monster awakening from slumber. The moment the hole met the water was a boundary between life and death. A tiny miscalculation, a slight imbalance in weight, and this $150 million Leviathan could have capsized in seconds, turning the entire maritime dream into a heap of twisted steel. This was no longer dry science. It was the art of balance, where every liter of water and every ton of steel had to be orchestrated with absolute precision. A giant heart, an engine more powerful than a power plant the engine room door swung open, revealing a steel heart waiting to beat. Inside, colossal pistons stood like the pillars of a temple, while propellers dozens of meters long lay still, like swords restraining their fury. This is the Wurzela RT Flex 96C, one of the largest engines on Earth, weighing 2,300 tons, as tall as a four-story building, producing up to 80 megawatts, enough electricity to power a city of 30,000 people. Every time it starts, tons of fuel are consumed each minute. That amount of oil, if sold, could buy a luxury car in just 60 seconds. A heart that devours fuel like it's swallowing a treasury, yet in return, it can rip through oceans and carry this floating city across thousands of miles of sea.
When steel set sail, the maiden voyage tests the deep. Resonant horn sounded, heavy and lingering like the roar of a steel beast. The colossal vessel began to inch forward, over 200,000 tons of steel trembling as it moved, sending walls of white water crashing against the dock. The scene was like witnessing a skyscraper suddenly sliding across the sea absurd, yet awe-inspiring. The water shivered, each metallic groan echoing outward like a minor earthquake in the ocean. On deck, engineers watched every reading with tense focus. Sensors recorded vibrations down to the milligal. Radars scanned continuously to track the course, and in the control room, every eye was glued to the screens, because even a tiny misstep could turn this test into a disaster. In that moment, no one dared blink, for this was not just a maiden voyage. It was a demonstration that an entire dream of technology and global commerce could truly come alive on the open sea. The giant takes the global logistics battlefield the colossal ship slowly left port, its bow piercing the early morning mist. On deck, rows of multicolored containers rose like skyscrapers, stretching from bow to stern. Once out at sea, it was no longer a single vessel. It had become an entire army of steel, carrying the world's cargo on its back. Each voyage could transport enough goods to sustain a small nation for months food, fuel, raw materials, the very lifeblood of global industry. This was more than convenience. It was the breath of the global economy itself. Reality has shown both the power and fragility of these giants. In 2021, when the Ever Given ran aground in the Suez Canal, $9.6 billion in trade was halted every day as this vital artery was blocked. A single stationary ship brought the planet to a halt proving that each steel giant is both a savior and a critical vulnerability in the world's logistics system.